What's the next 50 years of AI going to look like? I don't think we're going to get to a kind of artificial general intelligence. Or how we understand the universe. We have these two big mysteries, dark matter and dark energy. Well, I'm here at the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics, and there's some really smart people here. Folks who've been spending a lot of time thinking about the future. So let's go ask them. The next 50 years in science. Let's go. I talked about the creation of the superhuman, so that's looking like 50 years ahead. I'm going to be looking at advances in human-machine interfaces and how they're going to allow wearable soft robots to become part of everyday life. There are a lot of exoskeletons out there, but they're big and clunky. So what we want is to develop them in such a way that they're very unobtrusive and they're not just allowing them to perform as well as we do right now, but actually enhance performance. I think that AI in the next 50 years is going to become increasingly lifelike, but that doesn't mean it's going to be like a human. It's not going to be alive. We're going to see a lot of debates, a lot of fights actually about how how much AI we should have in our lives, who gets to control it, who gets to build it. You know, I don't think we're going to get to a kind of artificial general intelligence, you know, kind of super AI. I don't think we're going to get there in the next 50 years. So the question really will be, how are these kind of little AI systems, how are they being used and uh, how are they not being used? I think that we will get closer to understanding what the universe is really made of. So dark matter is some kind of invisible stuff. It holds the galaxy together and I want to know what it's made of. And we have a bunch of ideas having to do with different kinds of particles that maybe might exist. Some people even suggest maybe tiny black holes could be dark matter. Over the years coming, we will be able to answer some of those questions or at least rule out more of the possibilities. We can imagine a future where a tremendous amount of our food comes from large stainless steel vats and that this can all be done with a very very small environmental cost. One of the technologies that I think will be absolutely amazing is called precision fermentation. Now we all have a sense of what fermentation is. Little tiny microorganisms eat sugar and create alcohol. Uh, scientists increasingly can use microorganisms to produce all sorts of things. Dairy proteins, pork fat, specialty food ingredients. And so what I've actually seen is precision fermentation resulting in really high quality ice cream. And this is something that is developing in the next five and absolutely within the next 50 years.